Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to AQ40 as we will be breaking out of bounds in AQ40 and I'm going to show you how. Now, all the credit goes to Styx who is part of the, he is a sub on the channel and uh, he's a subscriber and uh, he's also part of the Discord channel. So if you haven't joined the ATN Discord, go say hello to Styx, awesome guy. All the credit goes to him. So thank you for this glitch and uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to perform this. Now, as you can see in the background, I have already killed C'Thun, who is the last boss in the raid. And uh, what you're gonna need to do is the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come up on this altar right here after you kill C'Thun. Now you're gonna see two bells or gongs next to me. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna jump on top of this gong. Okay, let's try that again, first try. <laughs> All right, jump on, or actually, you know what? I don't even think we need, yeah, there we go. We don't even need to be on, okay, don't get on top of the altar, just jump on top of the gong. <laughs> then what you're gonna do is fly over here, make your way this way, and uh, you're just gonna come right over to the window, and there you go. You are officially already out of bounds of AQ40, so let's go take a look around. I've been very excited to explore this place because I've actually never been out here. Uh, so we're going to jump out this way. We're going to go take a look around and see what's uh, in the outside of this dungeon. Now, be far, uh, fair warned, there is an invisible wall over here uh, somewhere. So once you hit a wall, you're going to hit like a trigger. And there we go. We are officially already out of bounds in AQ40. So we're going to make our way actually up the hill. And this is actually a really cool shot of the outside of the dungeon. And I love that they actually keep the theme music as well, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have my Fathom Dweller on my uh, mount key here. So we're going to mount up because we're technically out of the dungeon. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go take a look around. So let's go check out the... Uh, let's go check it out. Really cool ambience out here. If you guys like desert, if you like nighttime ambience, uh, this is the place for you because you're going to get some cool shots and uh, it's just really peaceful out here. You're going to see the night sky. You're going to see the runes of the temple here and you're just going to see really cool stuff. Now, normally you're never supposed to be out here. You know, that's why we broke it a bounce and uh, we're going to go take a look around here. But let's go on the back side over here. This is normally where... Um, Oldham is, right? And you also have Ungoro Crater, which is that way. Um, but yeah, usually you have Oldham resting right next to AQ. And as you can see, there's actually nothing out here. There's just a bunch of square madness of gray. And one thing I did want to see if they actually kept the cave on the back side of the um, back side of AQ. Normally there's a cave where you can find a sleeping dragon in it. And I don't know if they actually kept that dragon or they kept the cave at all, but let's go find out if they did. The moon looks really good in this uh, skybox here, so if you ever want to see a cool moon, this is the place to find it. And if you heard a dog barking in the beginning of the video, I'm currently babysitting a dog <laughs> with my wife. Me and my wife are babysitting a dog, so uh, you might hear him bark. It looks like it's just a great box out there. So let's go explore that here in a little bit. I want to go see the front side of the temple. And give you guys a better view of what's going on back here. I love that AQ music. Pretty cool. As you can see, some caverns down here. You know, the uh, out-of-bounds areas of maps always um, really got me when it comes to Blizzard and uh, World of Warcraft. The way that they design stuff is just interesting and what they keep and what they don't keep. As you can see, there's just like a giant hole out here in the ground. And I'm curious to see if they uh, actually have um, vanilla silithus out here. But it doesn't look like they do. Looks pretty barren for the most part. I'd be more excited to get out of the, um, what do you call it? Because you have the runes instead of the temple. Currently we're doing the temple. 
and I'm definitely going to be making a second video on the rune. So stay in, stay in store for that. I'll probably be uploading that next after this one. As you can see, there's not too much because a lot of this dungeon is actually uh, done underground. And so if we make our way out this way, here's the edge of the world right here, actually. You can get a good shot of the temple on the backside over here. That's a cool moving shot right there. This is definitely one of the more easier dungeons or raids to break out of. Um, the only thing is, you just gotta go through the whole dungeon first and you gotta kill all the bosses before you get to Cthune, so... That kinda sucks, but once you do all the bosses, it's pretty easy, easy peasy to get out of. And actually, if we come over here, you can see an outer shot of the inside of the dungeon over here. And it's kind of creepy being out here with the edge of the void. We have the music kind of cutting in and out every once in a while. This is one of more of the intriguing dungeons, I always thought. I don't know, it just has kind of like that mystical vibe to it, you know? Like the Egyptian type desert pyramid type vibe. Now this is really cool on the outside. Now I'm curious, can we walk on this? I think so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought that was like the edge of the world there the whole time. Let's go take a look over here. And we can actually get a good glimpse from outside of the dungeon, but looking inside. Now that is cool. That's a cool screenshot right there. I don't want to get too far because I don't want to drop down. But that is way cool. Let's go take a look over here. You can see a more inside of the dungeon underground. That you normally just see when you're inside of the dungeon. Let's go take a look at what's out here at this giant structure in the distance. I'm curious to what this is. I'm thinking maybe this is the beginning of the dungeon out here, but I don't know. Now, my question is, where is the beginning of the dungeon located? That's what I'm trying to look for. By the way, as we're walking across this plane, I just want to say thank you to all of you who's been showing love and support to the channel. You guys are just awesome. Love every single one of you. Um, we've officially hit over... Oh, gosh. Where am I going here? I don't know. I'm, like, running back into bounds. I don't know where I'm walking. Uh, yeah, anyways. We've hit twenty over 2,700 subscribers. or almost at 3,000. Guys, that is incredible. That's, that's a huge milestone. I just want to say thank you. Again, I can't say thank you enough. You guys are awesome. And I'm curious to see what's on the side of this mountain here. Just a giant structure out in the middle of nowhere, huh? It's so random. I wonder what this is supposed to be. Maybe the beginning of the dungeon, like I said earlier? I don't know. Now I'm curious. Just kind of sitting out here. If anybody knows what that is, I would love to know. Um, oh, here we go. We got some edge of the world out here. And we got this long strip of untexturedness. Ah, I can finally use untextured, right? This is a weird line here. If anybody knows what this structure is, please let me know, because I am super curious what the heck that is. And I really want to follow this line all the way into the abyss here. Because now I'm curious to what's out here. And also, am I being stupid? Is the beginning of the dungeon like over here somewhere? Since it's technically outside. 
Man, this goes a long ways out here. This map is huge. I don't know how far this is going to go, but let's find out. You guys don't have to stick around for the whole video if you don't want. <laughs> I just, I'm very curious to what's out here, though. Curiosity already, are, are, always gets the best of me. I'm just going to be honest. And I don't think anything's out here. It's just more of a textured, untextured, textured trail that we're going to follow. Maybe a pot of gold. Who knows? We'll find the end of the rainbow out here. That's the real question. That's a weird look out there in the background. I'm assuming this is just the borderline of the map and like maybe a parameter, you know, like where they wanted to set. They're like, hey, don't go this far. This is the box, like the outline of the map. And this is kind of like measuring how far everything is and like where to stop building, maybe. I don't know. So it'd be interesting to find out. And then you come back here and there's. All this empty terrain out here, which is usually supposed to be Silithus. Some weird texture out here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in this map out here, guys. Alright, anyways, I've seen enough. <laughs> I know you guys probably have too. Guys, I'm going to end the video here. There doesn't seem to be quite too much outside, but that is the Temple of Ankaraj. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing the runes next, so stay in store for that. Uh, as always, my name's Nathan. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.